Okay, Jagger, this is your what we call baseline slalom free ski video I like to take at the beginning of the year and then talk about all the things you're going to work on and hopefully compare one to the end of the year and see all that progress. Let's check it out. We are ready, Jagger. Yes, Jagger, good job indeed. Let's check it out a little slower. See what we got. Well, first off, we, we all day after this video, we were or the next day, I mean, or working on really getting a nice athletic stance, uh, ready position, uh, a wider stance, and you got it right here on the on the what we call right footers, because that's your your right foot is a dominant foot although we're turning to the left, uh, that's the kind of stance we want. Hip width, nice space between the, the feet, space between the similar space between the knees. That's a good job. Now, this side, the left footers, kind of totally different, right? So we got to make sure we maintain this consistent, nice hip width throughout the entire run. Because right, you obviously get your your legs really close together, the feet come together. All right, so we gotta keep that nice width throughout. You get it back over here. You know, on the right footers or turns to the left, but this side goes right back, super narrow. Right, pretty hard to edge your skis. They're that close together, right? So let's get let's work on that stance, right? Secondly, we, we need to use ankles and knees, and we talked about this already, but we gotta use ankles and knees to roll up the skis, you know, on edge. Right now you're kind of just more or less just sort of leaning in, right? So we want to see some nice angles here at the top of the turn like that we talked about rolling up the outside ski big toe down inside ski little toe down i know coach jonathan talked about using uh you know knee shin ankle big toe all right let's make sure we're thinking about that rolling bowl skis up to a nice high edge angle platform at the top of the turn they really step standing and pressing on that outside ski You know, a little better on that side. Again, similar thing here. You know, hands generally in good position, but you kind of like to clap, clap for yourself after every turn. So let's just keep them out in front. Keep them out in front, the same kind of width. We don't need to bring them together right there at the end of the turn. So I think we're going to work on also this year is making sure we're nice and level, level shoulders. And so we're going to be raising that inside shoulder a bit. Obviously here we're on the inside ski because you kind of Lost the outside fell, but it's all right. We're going to work on that. Outside ski to outside ski. Let's start, though, with, you know, widening that stance on both sides. Giving it consistent width. Using ankles and knees to roll up the skis. And lastly, we'll see it better from the side here. You know, just a little bit, you know, a little bit on your heels. You know, we got to be more in the front of the boot, get better ankle flexion. 
you can see here you're kind of uh, not a whole lot of ankle flexion so we're looking to have shins that are angled and like that right and obviously yours are more straight up and down so uh, you know what can help well you, you kind of have a lot of what we call lead change so you kind of shuffling so you see how the inside ski is much you know much more in front of the outside ski Let's try to keep them parallel, you know, boots more closer together. If you need to think about pulling back the inside ski, that's fine. But let's just not not allow that inside ski, you know, to get ahead of it, get, get ahead of you. Because that, that immediately puts you in the back seat. We have to have the same ankle flexion in, in both feet. And you've got a little on the outside and you've got none on the inside. But that's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll fix that. But let's think about that. Maybe pulling the inside foot back. So wider stance on both sides, ankles and knees to roll up skis, pull the inside foot back. All right. Good job in the first weekend and looking forward to next weekend.